What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Girl Hug gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody is doing well. I am doing wonderful. Just got off the phone with my big brother, Ben, but don't break. He only got me by a couple months, but, you know, he's my big brother. <laughs> All right, family, so I, I've been getting um, emails. I've been getting um, screenshots. Look like DoorDash done flipped the script on us. Uh, they, they starting to bring their prices back up, man. I don't see no more $2 order. Everybody been showing me $10, $9, $8, $11 order. So God is good. I'm telling you. I knew we were going to be able to, well, I knew y'all was going to be able to fix that problem by not doing them orders, man. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to sneak one in on you here and there. But guys, good job, man. You know, I'm starting to get phone calls. People let me know that, you know, they, they ain't getting no more two dollar orders. They've been getting their orders going back up. So thank God for that, man. If you want to do two, three dollars order, come on over to Postmate, man. We'll take care of you. <laughs> so I got two apps going on. Um, I'm waiting on background. Uh, I'll let y'all know about them. But nah, I want to try them out before I, like I said, I, I want to try them out before I broadcast it to y'all guys and whatnot. Some of y'all might be already doing them, but I need to find out if it's good in my mind. You know what I mean? I got to find something better than DoorDash or close to it. Well, other than that, guys, just forgive me Friday. Uh, today, you either have to forgive somebody or ask somebody to forgive you. I'm going to forgive DoorDash. That's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure some of y'all gonna do the same thing. But uh, I just got an order. I'm going to Dunkin' Donut, my favorite place. I got to go there any day, anyway. So thank God I got off the phone with Ben, but don't break. As soon as I got off the phone, I got an order. Hot damn, I'm happy. You know? I'm off the day, so I'm gonna run till the wheels fall off. You see how much I, uh, I do. Nothing to brag about. I'm up to like 60 something dollars on post space. Nothing to brag about, man. That's chump change. You know? But guys, if you're doing DoorDash and you have a, uh, uh, you're doing DoorDash part time and you have a full time job, man, let that Dash money help you take care of your debt, man. That's one of the reasons why I'm not upset that DoorDash deactivated me because I totally completed, uh, took care of all my debt. I don't owe nobody nothing. You feel me? I owe myself. <laughs> but when you find a good app like that, man, and you're doing a part-time, man, you got to pay them bills, man. You got to pay them, man. You feel me? All right, so we're going to Dunkin' Donut. I got two items to get. I got to get some coffee and some hash brown. It's for $4.22. I mean, that's just, that's just Postman. I expect that out of Postman. But not DoorDash. Oh, hell no. Not going for it. Ain't gonna happen. You're not gonna get me like that, player. <laughs> but today's a beautiful day, man, out here in Tampa, man. Yesterday, all day, when it got to the evening, it was cool all day long. So I think it'll be getting to that point where the, the heat is starting to, you know, be limited. In the low 80s, you know. Hopefully, we're gonna have no more 90s, 100, 100 degree days. But not. So, if this video is short, it's because of you, Ben, but don't break. I'm telling you now. How you doing, Diane? So, I, I definitely wanna shout out um, Demi Harden, uh, Tim and Dollar for sending me the, the, the prices. Uh, a lot of people didn't believe because they DoorDash hasn't changed in their model. I mean, haven't used their model in their, their area yet, but they have in Tampa. So thank you for showing me the, the, those pictures um, in the area that you at. So I, I really appreciate that. You know, showing me them screenshots. And Demi, I would have took all them orders. Them $10 and $11 order you was getting. GB Christmas. But I know he wouldn't do it for long, man. Tony liked that money, man. 
Tony like that money. So I know it wasn't gonna last long. Put some clothes on, boy. Boy walking to school ain't got a shirt on, guy ain't got a belt on, drawers hanging all out. And he going to school. Well, I hope he going to school, he got a book bag on his back. Ooh. I don't know, man. It is hot out here. I might have took my shirt off too if I got to walk to school. Yeah, but it's nice and cold, man. Last night I seen people rock, walking around with sweaters and hoodies on. I was like, yes, it's getting cold. And they're like, Mr. Howard, you ain't cold? I, well, I've been praying for some coldness in Florida. Y'all know I hate the heat. I used to be light skinned until I came to Florida. When I came to Florida, I got dark. <laughs> I'm like a burnt piece of toast. All right, fam, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. I'm back, family. All right. So, I had to make a stop before I got my order. But, um, I am so happy, man. I can't y'all I can't tell y'all how happy I am to start seeing these prices go back up. I mean it's just horrible. That's like getting a demotion. You know, like just say you was making twenty dollars an hour and then it's like the boss came to you and said, Hey man, the company going down, uh, we're gonna have to give you ten dollars an hour. And there's nothing that you can do about it. That's that's what it felt like when when DoorDash took them 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 offers, changed them offers, man. And a lot of people that do it for full time, I really felt felt bad for them because now you got to work triple hard, you know. And if your car not paid for, now you gonna you take the risk of running your car in the ground because you got to run harder. You got to try to get your uh your order's done quick so you can get some more orders, you know? So family, sometimes we gotta stick together, man. I mean, I know people that, that told me that that they they uh, accepting weight rates because they turned down so many orders, their accepting rate dropped down to 10, you know? You can get deactivated for that, you know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure that they understand. You can get your uh, the, and don't don't feel bad, guys, if your um, acceptance rates go down because you can get that back. Every three orders that you take brings it up a percentage, so it'll come up slow, but you'll get it back up. So don't don't worry about that. You definitely can get it back up. All right, I'm gonna go get this order, guys. I already know where I'm going at. Hold tight, baby. Chill out. And then I gotta go to Chick-fil-A. I got two orders to do. So that's good, man. I never did two orders on Postmate. But I'm gonna do it today. I'll be right back. All right, family, we got one order down. We got a Chick-fil-A order for $4.16. So. This is how I make my money. I get two orders, it was up to $8, $9. <laughs> but they're right across the street from each other. So it may, it may, it's okay with me, you know. You know, they pimping me right now. I, got, I was able to get my coffee. Like I said, family, if you ever I gotta tell you now, if you're doing Postmate, if you ain't good with keeping your receipts, or you throw your receipt away as soon as you get your order, you're gonna be in trouble. Cause you cannot complete their order without a receipt. So Postmate will make you pay attention to detail. We had a, on my way to work yesterday, we had a fatal car crash. I think it, it was involved, it involved teenagers and whatnot. So 
couple people got killed, man. I felt bad. But man, if you got teenage kids, man, it should in Merlin. I don't know if it's a law out here, but in Merlin, your kid can if your kid is 18, it has to be a somebody in the car that's over 20 or 21 and over. That kid cannot just ride around with his friends. I mean, he could, but you know, it had to be somebody older in the car. This was a, a group of teenagers. I don't know if they was out having fun or, or what, but my heart goes out to the family, man. It's hard, man. It's hard when you have kids and they don't get a chance to live to be 20 or something years old, you know what I mean? It's just hard, man. It's heartbreaking. You know, prom and all that, they didn't get a chance to see all that, man. My, my heart just hurts for the family. You know? It's nothing like being able to make mistakes, live your life, get old, you know what I mean? At work, man, they be they be getting on me and they be like, hey, you an old man. Like, that's okay. I don't live. I'm living. <laughs> you better pray that you get this age. You know? They don't bother me. It used to bother me when people say, oh, you old man, this and that. It used to bother me, man. You're only old as you at. You know what I mean? Shoot. I'm about to be 49 years old. Man, shoot. I feel like I'm 20. Body don't feel like I'm 20. But my mind, dude. <laughs> All right, fam, let me get this other order. I'll be right back. All right, fam, I'm back. I got my two orders. <sighs> so once again, man, I'm so happy for you guys. I hope prices in your area go up. I got to tell you guys about what happened to me yesterday when I was going to work. So it was a um, car accident, so I had to go a different way. And the way I was going, I was coming down uh, 301. So 301, I guess it was, uh, I guess people was getting off. It was, you know, going on 3 o'clock or going to work or whatever. I don't know. But it's two lanes. I was holding up one of them, you know. So speed limit is 50. Of course, I'm doing 45. And uh, I'm cruising. I had a funeral line behind me. And uh, there was a cop sitting up here. My my system let me know it was a cop there, so I was cool. I ain't going fast nowhere. I'm only doing 45. So this guy, he he gets beside me. He was like, uh, "You need to get the hell out the way." I like going about your business, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> so he shot past me. He was in a um, he was in a work truck. It was uh one of them pump plumbing thing. And he was in the work truck, he shot past me. Yeah, and then he, he cut me off. You know, he pulled right in front of me. And then he starts slowing down, hitting his brakes and stuff like that. Right? I guess out the way. I go ahead. I don't lose my cool. So it was a cop right behind me, right? I move, I get over to the right lane. Then he get over to the right lane. He start doing the same thing. So I went back over in front of the cop. You know, he kept doing the thing. I wanted the cop to see him. So the finally, when I pulled back over and he got back in front of me, the cop just threw his lights on. <laughs> he did it three times, man. Then uh, when the cop pulled him over, I just beat my horn, beep, 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 beep. Just wave. I gave him the presidential wave. <laughs> then I kept him moving. <laughs> he was pissed, man. I looked back. He was hitting his. He was hitting his stern wheel and whatnot. Guys, you cannot lose your cool out here on these streets, man. I hope the cop gave him a ticket, man. That's road rage, man. You know, I have, I have inside road rage. Meaning that I'm going to say what I need to say inside of the car. Not to you. I'm going about my business, but I'm going to say what I need to say. Like, gee, be cussing. Driving like an old lady. 
I'm saying that inside the car. I'm not saying it to you. You know what I mean? You can't mess with people in Florida, man. People license to carry. You know? I'm one of them. I know how it feels. So you can't mess with people, man. People flick you off, just smile at them, wave, you know? They want a reason to pull their gun on you and shoot you. Yeah, but I thought that was funny, man. I got to where I was going. On time, he didn't make it. <laughs> you know, Big Bertha is big, so if you if you in front of me, you can't see behind me. You know what I mean? So he didn't see that cop behind me. So shout out to the uh, Hillsboro Sheriff Department that pulled my man over that was being a butthole. I hope, I hope you gave him a huge ticket. <laughs> I mean, he got in front of me and just started slowing down. I'm cool with it because, you know, I ain't going no, I ain't going no faster than 45. Slow me down, big brother. Like, we cool with it. You know, I ain't got to work a hard. All right, we're going to make our first delivery. And drop this off. One order is going to BJ's and the one order is going to the half place right beside BJ's. So I made eight dollars. I'm in the same um, neighborhood. I'm in the same development. Both orders, so um, that's a that's a good eight dollars for me. You know. Let's see if the wife is up. both orders at the same time because one is right up the street from the other walking distance so I'm gonna take care of this order family I'll be right back okay it's up here by the CVS oh my man outside all right family I'll be right back I'm back family like I said man those two orders took all but three minutes That's what I like, you know? Easy orders. Street. I had the arrows, man. He's just going slow through the intersection. This is the slowest I ever seen a fire truck. Normally they doing 80 miles per hour, man. I ain't lying. Rolled past me one day, man, made my hair almost come out. <laughs> they said, Phew. My hair was like, Phew. you know. I do have a little bit of hair, you know. 
you just can't see it. It's very fine. When they move, I feel it. You know what I mean? Yesterday, when I go to work, I take, um, I take, um, I take Lunchables, not Lunchables, but I, I do like the, the Mega Mills, the 250 Mills. Oh, Jesus. That's the old folks home back there. It must be on fire because I see it's more than one fire truck. Might be a two alone. Um, I take the Mega Mills, you know what I mean? They real good. I take the healthy choice, stuff like that. I'm at work. So, the, yesterday, the lunchroom was packed full of people. So, I go pull my, um, shorty got somebody. I go pull my, put my lunch in there. And this kid, hey, I, I call him a kid. He got to be like 21, 22. He always gets smart with me. So, he was like, Mr. Al, your wife don't cook for you. You always buying these lunchables. Oh, he pulled him over on the motorcycle. He said, you always eat me lunch He was like, what's going on in your household? I said, well, your mom's, she don't like, you know, she don't like cooking for me no more. So, you know, I got to go out and buy lunch. I ain't care how he take it, took it. So, you know, don't nobody like to be sunned. So I sunned him in front of everybody. He's like, man, you gonna start talking about my mom. I'm like, well, you know, she ain't a good cook. So it forced me to buy food. So I kept switching it up on <laughs> He went and told my boss on me. <laughs> he went and told my boss that I could talk about his mom. So my boss said, I'm pretty sure he just joking with you, man. So I had to apologize to him. I didn't mind. I just thought that was funny, man. You could joke with somebody, but soon somebody joke with you and you and they, and because they, they used to make everybody in the lunchroom laugh at me, right? I didn't care. I don't care. I'm grown, man. I'm a grown man. I don't care about you laughing at me because I got a lunchroom. You know what I mean? But he couldn't take the fact that I kept talking about his mom, not in a bad way. I just kept saying, you know, your moms can't cook. That's why you eat a lunchroom. Or your mom didn't feel like cooking that day, so I had to eat a lunchroom. And they was like, ooh, he son you, he son you. He wasn't feeling that, man. I can't believe he told him. My boss just said, he said, can, can you leave that man mother alone? I was like, no problem. But his mom can't cook though, for real. <laughs> so I apologize to the young man. You know what I mean? Oh, man, that's bad, man. That must be a serious fire at the old folks home. I see another fire truck. Is that a fire truck? No, that's the fire chief. Now he rolling too. Oh man. Must not be good. Alright, family, I got to go, man. I gotta take care of some business. I done made me $8. I feel like I'm rich. This video is short because of Ben but don't break. I was on the phone with him, guys, for a while. Sorry, brother, I'm snitching on you. I know you like them 30 minutes, but I got to run up here and take care of some, some business with the wifey. Uh, got to make sure she's ready. We got to go take care of the appointment this morning. Ah. Whew, that was a bump, you know? My wife hate when I do that. Every time we hit a bump, I would do that. She hated me. They still working on this apartment underneath me? They've been working on this apartment for like two months. They had a bunch of um, guys in there living. They, they went to school. They must have tore this place up. Hey man, how y'all gonna take up all the parking space, man? GB Christmas. What the hell is going on? I got five, five golf carts parked in my parking space. I don't play that.
All right, fam, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you. Oh, shoot, I'm about to do my intro. All right, fam, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Hey, the five minutes, y'all blame Ben, but don't break. Make sure y'all say something, because he short me five minutes. All right? All right, fam, I love you. Ben, but don't break. I'll holler at you, man. Peace.